Hello ladies and welcome back. Or if you're new here, welcome. Hello, my name is Samantha and it is great to have you. I upload new videos every single Sunday. So if you are not yet subscribed, hit that button down below and join us here on my channel. Today's video has been highly, highly, highly requested. For some reason, you all want to see what I do before I get ready for bed. So because I just did a full face of makeup for a video that you will see very soon, I figured I might as well show you how I remove my makeup, what I do to wind down at the end of the night, and just how I relax before I go to bed. It is currently 7.30 and my bedtime is usually around 9. So I start my preparations nice and early and the first thing I do is I walk over to my tea cupboard. This lighting is not a friend of mine, but I choose a tea to have while I relax. So normally I go for peppermint because I'm a big fan. I honestly think I'm going to stick with peppermint because I'm obsessed. I love it so much and it pays to stick with what you know. So I'm going to pour myself a cup of this and then we are headed upstairs to remove the many layers of foundation I have going on right now. And that is going to be so much fun because afterwards you get to see my nighttime skin routine and I've never shared my skin routine on YouTube before so you better be excited. So we are now in my bathroom. I've got my obscenely large cup of tea here to reward me once I do my full skincare routine. And I also have these two very fabulous hair clips from Dry Bar. These are what I use to pull my hair back during makeup application as well as removal. They are lifesavers. I'm a big fan of them. They may not be the cutest, but they get the job done. So for removing my makeup, I would normally use Ultra Blend by Lush. It's a creamy oil-based cleanser and it works amazing. However, I've run out. So today we are going to be using some plain coconut oil. So let's go ahead and start removing my makeup. I'm just going to be taking a generous portion of my slightly melted coconut oil, coconut oil, and applying it around the perimeter of my face. And it should be noted that I will be massaging this gently in an upward motion. If I get quiet during this process, it's because I like to pretend I'm giving myself a facial so I get very zen. Very, very zen. Just in case you're wondering why I am not applying any on my eyes to remove my eyeshadow, it's because I have lash extensions and oil-based products will make them fall out very quickly. So I stick to using my regular facial cleanser on my eyes. So like I said, this is supposed to be a spa-like experience. Take your time, work the oil in, and make sure that you have no makeup residue left whatsoever. I think that is good for a first run. If I need to, I will happily go in with a bit more coconut oil. But for the time being, I'm just going to take one of these makeup remover cloths and I'm going to start wiping off my base. So already I have removed quite a bit of what I had on, but I do think I'm going to go back in with one more makeup wipe without coconut oil, just to make sure that I've gotten as much makeup off as possible. I personally like to remove the majority of my makeup before I even start cleansing. I find that that makes it much more effective. So I'm going to take this cleansing cloth and clean the insides of my eyes as well as my lash line. 
and I'm going to gently rub along the top of my lid to try and remove as much eyeshadow and eyeliner as possible. I went well. So the same to this one. So I don't know about you, but I would say this is a makeup free face. So the next step is to cleanse. However, before I cleanse, I like to brush my teeth. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back to cleanse. Okay, so I am back and as you can see, my face is already wet. I have it prepped for my fresh soy face cleanser. I love this stuff. I hated it when I first tried it, but then Charles Gross had posted about it and I fell in love with it <laughs> and I've been using it ever since. So something I do differently when cleansing my face is making sure that I do so for a minimum of 60 seconds to ensure that the product has time to reach all the layers of my skin and remove all of the dirt that may be hiding. So I am probably going to fast forward this part. Okay, so I'm feeling sufficiently cleansed at this point, so I'm going to rinse this off using a black facial towel just in case I did have any makeup left on my face. I don't want to stain a white towel. So I use black ones for removing my makeup. Had I been wearing more makeup or had my makeup been on for a full day, I probably would have double cleansed with the fresh cleanser, however, the makeup I had on was only on for like two hours. So I think one cleanse should be sufficient. So I'm going to go wash this off and then we are headed to the most important and exciting part of this video, which is my nighttime skin routine. I feel like every time I come back, the view changes somehow. So my apologies. I do not know how that is happening. However, I am washed, I am cleansed, and now I need to tone. For a toner, I use my number one holy grail item. If you've been following me for a while, you know all about how much I love this item. But this is Lotion P50 by Biologique Recherche. I use the 1970 version because I have very dry skin. So I'm going to take one of my little cotton pads up here and I'm going to be applying this in a upward sweeping motion all around my face. And for anyone who may be concerned by the color of my face right now, that is totally normal. That is what happens when you use a chemical exfoliant. So I think that's pretty good. I don't want to irritate my skin too heavily because I will be using Tretinoin tonight. But I would say that all the remaining residue has been removed from my face. As you can see, there's a little bit of makeup on my cotton pad. So that's why toning is always a phenomenal idea because even if your skin looks clean, it could still use some work. So now that I am toned, I'm going in with my two serums from The Ordinary. This one is Buffet, so it is their peptide complex, and it also has copper in it. And then this is niacinamide and zinc. This one is specifically for treating acne, and as you can see, I do have some acne. This one is for plumpness and hydrating your skin. So these are both things that I really enjoy and I really need. So I take about two drops. Look, this one's blue, so fancy and I place them in my hand, not directly on my face because that is how you scrub bacteria to your bottles. And then I massage it in and onto my neck as well. And the next serum I'm going to be using is from Origins. This is the Mega Mushroom Relief. I love this stuff. It's been through it. That's why the label is 
gone with the wind. I apply a generous amount of this product all over my face and I love it because it smells so nice and earthy and it instantly calms down redness. And I'm somebody who definitely suffers from redness, if you can't tell. And then we are using my Tretinoin cream. So Tretinoin is a chemical exfoliant and it is supposed to be the fountain of youth. It is also very strong, so what I do is I mix it with a little bit of Aven's Sickle Fate, that Sickle Fate, and I will put just a drop of my Tretinoin on it. So this I will mix and apply to my forehead, my cheeks, my chin, trying to avoid my eye area and my neck. Now that looks fairly well absorbed to me. So what I do as a final step is I apply some of my Dr. Jart Ceramidin cream because this is ultra hydrating and it locks in all the moisture in my skin. So I apply this very liberally everywhere, especially my under eyes and especially when I'm using Tretinoin. And normally this is where I would end my skincare routine. However, I recently realized that I had some avocado sleeping night mask left. So I might as well make use of it because like I said, I have very dry skin. So if I can do something to combat that, I will. So I might be slightly green for the rest of this video. And we are all just going to have to deal with it. But for the record, this is not a mask. I love just being honest. It's not terrible, but it's not great. I'm only using it because it is past the point that I can return it. And I did end up using half the jar, thinking that I'd eventually love it. That time has not come. So I'm genuinely confused as to how I forgot to include this in the skincare portion of this video, but this medicated Blistex makes my life so much better. I have two containers of it on me at all times, sometimes more. It's a great lip balm, very hydrating. So I always apply a very generous amount of it before I go to sleep. So I may look a little wild right now with my white tinged lips, but I promise it is so worth it. I have my big cup of peppermint tea here that I have already been enjoying, if you cannot tell. This is heaven on earth. It truly, truly is. So, now that my skincare is done, now that I'm like relaxed and ready for bed, I have journals to write in. I have plans to make. I have content to plan so that's what i do now before i go to bed because i try and stay off social media or any sort of electronic for an hour or so before my bedtime which means i spend my time more productively and i write out my plans for the coming day i write down what's important what i need to do when who i'm meeting with things that need to get done before the end of the day major goals stuff like that you know and I do also like to include a gratitude list at this point in time as I mentioned I do also have some content planning to do so this is my content notebook so if I'm going to be taking photos or posting on socials or leaving the country all of that stuff is included in here so I need to update this and get my next week or so sorted out in here, which I'm very excited for. I have become a very big journaling 
organizing type person and I love it. I'm a full blown adult now and I have no qualms about it. So with that being said, I'm going to dive into my journals and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me get ready for bed. I hope it was entertaining. I hope you enjoyed my skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.